Bentley Mulsanne Speed. Aside from the Rolls-Royce Phantom, it is the single most expensive sedan you can buy today. This one has a sticker price of $375,000. It costs as much as three Mercedes S-Classes or 14 Toyota Camrys. And today, I'm gonna show you why. I've borrowed this Mulsanne here in the Washington DC area from Bentley of Tyson's Corner, who have graciously loaned it to me, even though it's worth twice as much as the average home in the United States. But just wait until you see why. First, I'm going to take you around and I'm going to show you all of the crazy luxury car features that this thing has. And then I'm going to get it out on the road to find out exactly how a $375,000 car drives. And of course, for more of my thoughts, click the link below to read my column on autotrader.com slash oversteer. Now I'm going to start in back because that's where all of the coolest stuff is. You open the door and you're immediately confronted by an unbelievable level of equipment and attention to detail. For example, the base model Honda Accord has four speakers in the entire car. The Bentley Mulsanne has three speakers in just one rear door. Now, if you want the window up, you can of course put the window up. If you want some extra privacy, push the window button again and the sunshades come in. Now, here's the really crazy part. There's not just a sunshade over the rear window, but there's a little sunshade over this tiny secondary window. Now, another thing you'll notice in the doors is that there are two window controls back here. That's because you can control both your window and the window on the other side from either rear seat. You'll also notice in the rear door that there is a memory button. We'll get back to that in a second. Now, when you get in the back seat, the first thing that you notice is you have a little storage area here, just like you're in an airplane. And the airplane this continues because you have a tray table. Bentley calls it a picnic table. But this isn't some coach airline flight. This is first class. I know that because I push this little button and the screen rises from the back of the front seat. Now, there's no screen in there because this car comes with a tablet that you attach to this. But when the screen is not present, you see the Bentley logo emblazoned in the plastic. When I'm done with my movie and my picnic, I put away my screen and my tray table and I start to notice the other unbelievable features in back. For example, the rear center controls. There are three different locations for air to blast on to backseat passengers. Your head, your middle section, and your feet, just like as if you were sitting in the front. And with the rear controls, you can control exactly where the air comes from. Of course, you can also control your own temperature, and because this car has quad zone climate control, the person sitting on the other side can control their temperature too. And it's not just the climate control you can affect, you can also move the seats. Now in your car, you might be able to slide the rear seat forward a little bit. In this car, I press a button, and the entire rear seat moves. I can also press a button to control my lumbar support and a button to control the backrest. Now, the craziest thing about the backrest is it isn't just the headrest that moves. In fact, the entire rear part of the seat moves forward and it can go all the way up in case I wanna read something or type something while I'm driving. Although, if I wanna take a nap, I put it right back and Mmm, that feels so nice. Of course, what would a rear seat in a car like this be if it didn't have a massaging function? This has that too. I've now pressed it. Mmm. To complete my rear seat experience, I reach up to the ceiling, push a button, and then the rear sunshade closes. So now I'm sitting in a sunshaded massage cocoon as I drive down the road. But this rear seat is for plebeians. This is the rear seat where you really want to be because I push a little button and I can control the front passenger seat. I want more legroom? <laughs> Suddenly the front passenger is getting robbed of his legroom. If I want more room for my knees, I can push a different button and then the backrest goes forward and now I can lie down all at the expense of the front passenger. But who really cares about him anyway? So the rear seat is an incredible place to be, but those are all of its obvious features. You get into the little details and you start to understand why this car is truly so expensive. For example, this little light, there's no switch or button you push, you just run your hand over it and it's on. You wanna turn off, you run your hand over it again. It's incredible. Another great detail, you wanna hang up your coat. There's a little hanger here, of course, 
wrapped in leather, but there's also a dedicated coat hanger up here, finished in beautiful brushed silver. Speaking of things wrapped in leather and incredible attention to detail, you see this leather perforated pouch behind me? That's a speaker. You want your cigarette lighter? It's in this little compartment. Open it up and it is ensconced in leather. And even though this is something that most people will never use and nobody will ever notice, the hinges are beautiful polished silver. So you're sitting in the back enjoying a nice picnic and watching a movie on your screen and you decide you want a beverage. You can do that. Just open up the little cup holder storage area and you'll find that the cup holders are movable. You can set it on your picnic table or if you don't want them in front of you, there's a little hook. You can put the cup holder in so that you can reach down and grab it. When you're done with your drink, just unhook the cup holder, put it back in the storage area, and now it, it's gone. You don't have to deal with it anymore. Now in back, you'll find that there's no trunk latch where you'd expect it to be. So how exactly do you get into the Bentley Mulsanne's trunk? That's right, you push the winged bee. Has there ever been anything this opulent in history? The Mulsanne's trunk is exactly as big as you'd expect given a car its size, but the trunk has a few quirks of its own. For example, the ceiling of the trunk lid is carpeted. Of course, the trunk itself is also carpeted. My favorite part is the floor is carpeted. Lift that up to reveal more carpeting. In other words, the trunk has carpeting to protect your carpeting. That is a true luxury car. Now under the hood things are pretty normal except for the fact that the engine includes a little plaque that shows the engine number and the production location and the name of the guy who built this thing. Which is kind of weird but I like that because it means we know who to blame if something goes wrong. Another cool Mulsanne detail that would be the headlight washers. Watch this. Now, you get in the front seat of this car and you immediately notice the same insane level of features and equipment as you have in the back, starting with the soft closed doors. Don't close your door all the way? That's okay. Bentley will do it for you. Now, in the front seat, most of the Mulsanne's crazy, interesting features and quirks are found in its infotainment system. Here's one cool feature. Like all cars, this one has a camera system with multiple angles. There's straight back, here's rear sides. That's no big deal. The cool thing is this one also has a camera that looks side to side in the front. The hood of this car is so long that if you're coming up to make a right turn on red, you can't necessarily see what's coming. So you push that button and the camera looks to the side for you so that you can tell. The infotainment system also lets you change the character of the engine, the air, suspension, and the steering. My favorite part is when you get into these menus, you find you have three options, comfort, sport, and Bentley. Another option you have in the infotainment system under lighting and visibility, you can set the car's mood lighting. Under the heating and climate tab, you'll find a lot of different options, including footwell temperature. Click it and you can set the temperature of the footwell, apparently. Now within the Bentley Assist Systems menu, you have a bunch of different options, but my personal favorite is the one that lets you set the brightness on the Blind Spot Assist System. You can choose to have it brighter or less bright. You can't do that in any other car. Here's another interesting feature. In the Servicing and Checks section of the infotainment system, you can actually place the wipers in the service position. But beyond the infotainment system, there are also a few weird features and quirks here and there. For example, the window switches. In a normal car, you can lock the windows so your passengers can't roll them down. In this car, you can lock individual windows that you're choosing. If one rear passenger is being annoying and the other one is being fine, you can just lock out the annoying one from rolling down his or her window. The air vents. There's no little slider or you move over to an X. In a Bentley, if you want air to stop coming out, you just push the vents closed. This little compartment in the middle, only just large enough for your phone, finished in leather. So your phone has a luxurious area to hang out in while you're driving. If you find that your seatbelt height is a little too low or a little too high, there's no fumbling with some stupid plastic latch. Just push a button located down here and the seatbelt will automatically raise or lower at your whim. Another cool Mulsan feature, you can raise the ride height using the suspension system. I'm not sure why, although the internet says Bentley did this for rough roads in the Indian market, but the crazy thing is just how high 
it raises. I don't know the exact figure, but I've measured it here, and I think it's about seven, seven and a half inches. That's more ground clearance than a Toyota RAV4. So this car has a lot of amazing luxury features, but it doesn't stop there. The base price on this car is $335,000, but this one is $375,000, which means it has $40,000 in options. Now, I have the window sticker pulled up here on my phone, and some of these options include the comfort specification. Now, the window sticker doesn't say what this is, but it does announce that it costs $4,860. Those interior picnic tables for the rear seats, yeah, those are 2,700 bucks. And those little interior tablets are part of the Bentley Theater package, which is $11,335. I once bought a used BMW M3 for less than the cost of a couple of Bentley interior tablets. And then there's the color. You might think this car is white, but you are sadly mistaken. This is Glacier White, and it's one of 13 colors in the whites and yellows section of Bentley's website. Other whites include white satin, white sand, old English white, Glacier White, and Arctica. You think that's funny? There are 16 silvers. One of them is called Moonbeam. So we know the Mulsanne is a crazy luxury car with crazy luxury car features and crazy luxury car pricing, but what about under here? Well, this is a Mulsanne Speed, which is apparently a trim level. It uses a twin turbocharged V8 that makes 530 horsepower and 810 pound-feet of torque. The result is 0 to 60 in around 5 seconds, even though this thing weighs 6 thousand pounds. Think about that. Zero to 60 in five seconds in a vehicle that weighs as much as a Chevy Tahoe plus a Zebra. Okay, we're driving the Bentley Mulsanne. The steering is actually very nicely weighted. Very impressive. I thought it would be like super light and, and comfortable and all that. No, it like feel it's heavy. We're gonna drop the hammer here. Here we go. I can't believe this thing weighs 6,000 pounds! That is crazy! So, as I sit here at the stoplight, I realize I'm behind a Ford pickup Lexus, it is an X5, there's seven cars around us. We're probably more expensive than every single one of those cars put together. One of the things you notice the moment you get in is how incredibly long the hood is. And you see to the end of the hood, you see this giant Bentley hood ornament. I already feel better than everybody else on the road, even though this isn't my car and I've only been driving it for four minutes. This car weighs 6,000 pounds. It's not like it handles like a sports car, but the steering feel is really nice. It's tremendously comfortable and... <laughs> I cannot believe the 6,000 pound car accelerates that fast. I don't think I've ever been so surprised by a car's acceleration. The funny thing is, I looked it up beforehand how fast it was, so I knew it was gonna be this fast, and yet I'm still completely blown away by how fast it is. It takes the corner pretty well. There's less body roll than I was expecting. One of the other amazing things in this car is the red line is 4,500 RPM. And the tack only goes up to 5,000 RPM, like a diesel car. The engine is just never really working all that hard. This car is just unbelievably serene. You can hear nothing at a stoplight, nothing. Not only can I not hear the engine, which is fairly standard, I can't hear anything going on around me. The thing about this car is it has stuff that you as a normal person don't think about. This car is luxury on a level that people watching this are gonna say, oh, it can't really be worth that much. It's not that nice. It's a level beyond any standard luxury car that, that you've ever been in. Even the sound of the sunroof opening is just like more elegant than in other cars. It's just this nice leather on leather sliding. There's no, there's nothing mechanical about it. You don't hear the motors. Bentley thinks of all this stuff because it's the only way to make people pay $375,000 for a car. You have to just make every little detail that much better than Mercedes-Benz. Anybody who buys this car could have had a fleet of S-Classes. And Bentley does an amazing job of actually making this car feel that much better than an S-Class. 
Okay, so we've discovered something interesting about the Bentley Mulsanne. It's surprisingly fun to drive and as fast as a sports car. It's more luxurious and more opulent than anything from BMW and Mercedes-Benz, and it has more equipment than those cars too. You can buy a sports car or you can buy a luxury car, but if you want something that combines both, along with every possible opulent high-end detail you can imagine, plus some that you probably can't, you'll have to pay big money for it. How much? My guess is around $375,000.